In this video, I am going to show you how to find slope at a point of a cantilever beam using moment area method. And this is the example one. So this is a problem and it says determine the slope at points B and C of the beam shown in figure. And E and I are given. And uh, you can see the beam here. Uh, it marked as A, B and C. And A is a fixed support. And at C there is a point load of 2k and overall length is 30 feet and at 15 feet there's a point b so we have to find slope at point b and point c okay we'll see how we find slopes using moment area method so when we're talking about moment area method there are two theorems theorem 1 and theorem 2 so in order to find slope we use theorem 1 Okay, we will see how we find slope using theorem 1 of this moment area method. So this is the theorem 1. So it says the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve equals the area of the M over EI diagram between these two points. So we will see how to apply this theorem 1 to our calculations. So our first step is to find in support reactions. So you can see uh, this is a fixed support therefore we have to mark three components which are two force components and one moment component. So you can see force components as AX, AY and this is the moment component it's marked as MA. So first I will consider some of all the horizontal forces. So if I consider horizontal forces you will see there are no other horizontal forces than this AX therefore this AX is equals to 0 then I will consider sum of all the vertical forces so if I consider vertical forces I can write AY equals 2K because there are two forces AY and 2K so if I consider uh, equilibrium of uh, this direction we can get AY equals 2K so next I am going to take moment about point A. This is the point A. So if I take moments, I will have MA minus 2K times 30 feet equals 0. So this is the moment due to this 2K force. So if I simplify this, I will have MA equals 60K feet. So this is the free body diagram. So you will see this is the uh, support reaction at a it's 2k and this is the moment at a so this is the free body diagram so next we have to draw bending moment diagram for this beam so for that i will cut this beam uh, like this so i will draw it here uh, like this point and i will mark this distance as x so i will redraw in uh, next page so this is the cut part and this is the point A, this is the uh, point which I cut before. So this is the shear force, it is marked as V and this is the bending moment. Actually this shear force is not necessary but I marked it anyway. Next I am going to take moments about point O. So I marked this point as O. So if I take moments I will have m plus 60 minus 2kx so m is the this bending moment and 60 is the moment at point a and minus 2kx is the uh, moment due to this 2k force so i take moment about counter clockwise direction moment due to this 2k force is clockwise direction therefore i put minus sign here so if i simplify this we'll have m equals 2kx minus 60 this is like m equals mx minus c right so now i can draw a diagram for this equation if i draw a diagram for uh, this equation so i can i will have this is the moment and this is the x so this is uh, mx minus c type so that means it goes like this right so value of this point is 60 we have to draw 
m over e a diagram not bending moment diagram but before growing m over e a diagram we have to grow bending moment diagram then grow m over e a diagram so it is simple this is the bending moment diagram m over e diagram means we have to divide this value from e i so here also i have to divide value from e i value of this point is beam length beam length is 30 and middle of the beam is 15 so if you substitute this 15 value for this equation you will have half of this value so it's 30 here so i will divide it from ei okay this is the m over ei diagram so i will show you clearly grown picture so this is it so you can see this is the m over e i diagram so this is point a b and c and lengths are given in here and values are uh, rotated here and please keep in mind these are minus values so you can see minus 30 over e i and minus 60 over e i so this is the m over e i diagram so next we will see how we find slope using this diagram so you can see the cantilever beam here first we have to grow deflected shape of this beam so this is the deflected shape of this beam so you will see uh, this beam is fixed at a and this is a free end and there is a point load at c so if we grow deflected shape it's like this then we have to mark slopes in this diagram so before that i will show you how i mark tangent lines in this diagram first point is point a and as you see this is a fixed point there are no slopes so there are no deflections at point a therefore if i grow a tangent at a it's a horizontal line so you can see this is the horizontal line it's the tangent of uh, this point a if i grow a tangent line at a so this is the line so i can mark it as tan a then i will grow a tangent line at b so you can see uh, this is the tangent line of point b so i will mark it as tan b finally at c this is the tangent line of tan c if i grow a tangent line at c so it will go like this so i will mark it as tan c so this is tan c see, those are the tangent lines right so next i am going to mark slopes so first i mark this slope so you can see at a there are no slopes therefore i don't have to mark slopes at a but at b there is a slope so if i grow a horizontal line a small horizontal line at b this is the line so this is the slope at b it's mark as theta b and at c this is the theta c so if i grow a horizontal line at c this is that line and this is the theta c next i have to mark uh, slopes respect to tan a or respect to horizontal line so i will show you how i mark here so this is the tan a right this is the tan a line this is the tan b line so if i measure this angle tan a to tan b this is the angle so i can mark it as theta b dash a so which means this is the theta b respect to a right this is the theta b angle respect to a likewise i can mark this angle as theta c respect to a like this so this is the tan c line this is the tan a line so if i measure this angle from tan a so i can mark it as theta c respect to a and actually this case since this uh, tan a is a horizontal line i can say theta b equals 
theta b respect to a and theta c equals theta c respect to a because this a is a horizontal line. Okay, now we will see how we find uh, slopes using the, uh, theorem 1. So, again, it is given in here, theorem 1 is the, the change in the slope between any two points on the elastic curve equals the area of the M over A diagram between these two points. So, applying theorem 1, theta B respect to A is equals to the area under the M over A diagram between points A and B. That is, so, they are asking finding theta b and theta c so first we find theta b so according to this theta b is equals to theta b respect to a or relative to a it doesn't matter uh, so theta b is equals to theta b respect to a so i can find this theta b respect to a using area under the a and b so this is the basic idea so in order to find theta b respect to a, I have to find this shaded area. So it's simple calculation. So you can see there is a uh, dash line. So I can find area of this dash line area. So I will show you. So I can find this area. It's a, a rectangular, right? Then I can find this area. And finally, I can get the sum of these two areas. So, that is the calculation which I am going to do in next steps. Okay, theta b is equals to theta b respect to a. So, I am going to find uh, this area. So, it's 15 times 30 over ei. So, you can see it's rotated here. And triangle area is half times uh, this length and this height so this length is 15 feet so it's rotated here and this height can be found 60 minus 30 you can see I wrote it here so this length is 60 minus 30 so you can see here also there so if I simplify this I will have uh, theta b equals minus 675 k square feet over ei since we know values of e and i it's given in the uh, problem i can substitute those values and get answer for theta b and theta b units are radians and also the negative sign indicates that the angle is measured clockwise from a so it's a, another sign convention so if the slope is minus or it's if the sign is negative the angle is measured clockwise from a in a similar manner the area under the m over e i diagram between points a and c equals theta c respect to a so therefore we have to find area under these two points c and a so this is point c this is point a so, in order to find slope at C, I have to find area of this whole triangle. So, it can be found using half times this length. This length is uh, 30. 30 times overall height. Overall height is minus 60 over EI. So, this is the slope of this point C. So, you can see it's rotated here if we simplify this we will have theta c equals minus 900 k square feet over ei so since we know values of e and i we can substitute those values and get answer for theta c as minus 0.00745 radians so please keep in mind uh, these units are radians so here also sign convention same so it's minus so negative sign indicates that the angle is measured clockwise from A. Please like, comment and share this video. 
to watch future educational videos please subscribe educate today youtube channel thank you